This week in Red Dead Online, Rockstar has given us two pretty awesome ways to make a lot of money. And you guys know that I've spent all of my money in Red Dead Online and started from scratch. So I played a whole bunch tonight, worked on both these methods, and I think I made a few thousand easy dollars. Stick around as we get right into it so you guys can too. Howdy Cowpoke, Austin BMX, you guys can see we are over here at one of our favorite ladies in Red Dead Online. One of two, we're going to be seen on both today. We're over here at Harriet, that's right. If you guys want to like this video, make sure to smash a like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Dead Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. So yes, we did mention it in yesterday's weekly drip feed video that there are two money making bonuses this week. Harriet is selling her sample for 50% more, as well as Madame Nazar is selling her collection sets for 30% more. So when we first knew that, we always know Collector is a great way to grind money. Always. It is, hands down, number one, the best way to make money and grind it in this game. Hands down. But it is a grind. Harriet, other hand, actually pretty good this week as well. So as you guys know, Harriet buys your samples that you take from all... Yes, we're just calm down, Harriet. We're getting to you. She buys all of the samples that you get. And if you take a look, we have quite a lot in here. Tons of them that we actually uh, just sample all the time. They're all selling for 50% more. Now, of course, I mean, an alligator snapping turtle with the bonus sells for $1.05. That means what's it normally like 70 five cents maybe 60 cents yeah maybe 75 yeah 75 cents probably not probably a good idea but legendaries on the other hand fantastic way to make money this week and you say well austin legendaries are kind of hard to find not if you do harriet's missions now the best thing also is harriet's mission legendaries actually sell for the most amount of money so if you guys jump into Harriet's missions here, you will need to be ranked up. I think rank five to unlock these. And then uh, I think as you rank up, you unlock more. So this is going to work best if you're a, a full fledged rank 20 naturalist. You will always have three legendaries here that reset every 48 minutes. As you can see, the timer right now is at 22 minutes. In 22 minutes, these will reset to three different legendaries. Now, there might be one that's the same. But usually it takes at least one cycle for something else to show up. Now you could do all three of these. Once you do all three of them, then of course you will look like this and you won't have any there. And then once the timer runs out, which the timer wasn't showing up for me. So make sure when you do your final one, when you do the third one on the list, that you know how much time you have left. So you kind of know when to come back here. But you can come back after 48 minutes, do all of them. Come right back again. You'll get three more. The best thing is I've actually done this for three full cycles of this i got two golden spirit bears two shadow bucks one ehame elk one iwakta panther one banded gator one ikabor and one milk coyote now it doesn't sound like too much but that actually adds up quite a lot if you actually add up all the legendary prices for her missions animal samples this week it actually adds up to $572 for all of them. Now that's if you get one of each, right? But right now we have two Golden Spirit Bears, two Shadow Bucks, and one of each other. So we'll go ahead and put all the prices for Harriet's missions up right now so you guys know which ones to look at. These are all from the most to the least. Golden Spirit Bear this week is selling for $54. That's insane, $54. And the cheapest one, Milk Coyote, sells for $30. Now of course, the higher the price, the ones I've noticed, you know, the missions sometimes are a little long. The Golden Spirit Bear can get pretty long. The Sapa Cougar is always really long. Uh, but as you get down, you know, the Milk Coyote, sometimes that one is super fast. The one good thing is, though, all three of the missions that you get every 48 minutes, usually you can blast through all three of them within 20 minutes. So you can do them all pretty dang quick and then go on and do uh, some moonshine deliveries and other things like that and wait for it to reset. 
So right now we have $2,679.98. I'm gonna go ahead and sell just the legendaries that I got with three cycles here, which I stated before. I'll have them listed down here as well so you guys know what we're selling. So now we have $3,055.73. That comes out to $375.75. What we just got running her missions three times, three cycles of all three of them. That was super easy. Like I said, we ran through all three of the legendaries pretty dang quick within 20 minutes. Went and did like a moonshine delivery between there and then uh, reset the moonshine. Went back to her when they reset, did the three missions again. We did that three times and made $375.75. That's pretty crazy. So if you guys want to pretty much grind some pretty easy cash this week, definitely jump into Harriet's missions here and get all those done. You could easily get all three of them done and then go do some other stuff for another little while and then come back and do the other ones. I did also look at a whole bunch of the other samples that are in here. They're all pretty cheap. I mean, there are some that sell for pretty good, like the Western uh, Moose is $8, but they're kind of hard to get. Um, you know, a lot of the farm animals are all pretty cheap. One that I did find was pretty good was the American Bison. The American Bison sells for $5.40. And I was able to get 10 of these in like five minutes. Now, I, I got 10 of them and I sat on them to make this video. You could easily grind American Bison probably because they spawn in huge batches up by the oil fields and between oil fields and Emerald Ranch. Also down in the... the Heartlands, a Great Plains area by Blackwater. So you can definitely get both of those herds and get 10 pretty dang easy. We're just going to sell all those right now too. There's another 54 bucks I made in five minutes. If you've been like me and you've been out hunting at legendaries whenever you see them and just sample them, which I do quite a lot, and then you're just sitting on them, this might be a great week to sell them. I just sold all the legendary samples I had just sitting around and I made another $643. So you might just have some pretty easy cash just sitting here if you guys need it. Definitely go check it out. Of course, you have quite a lot of cash. You might want to save those until you can actually trade them all in as well. But if you have a whole bunch of samples just sitting around, might be an easy way to make some money. Of course, for a second part this week, we're down here about Mad Mazar because there is a 30% boost on all sales from Mad Mazar. Now, of course, that is with a grain of salt because some of them are going to be pretty hard to get. Like all the non-static ones, the randomized ones, the fossils, going to be hard to get. Um, all the high-end stuff like the necklaces, the earrings, the bracelets going to be hard to get. Uh, the arrowheads hard to get. And of course, I've been looking for this one coin for like two months, man. Gosh dang it. Come on, Rockstar. Just give me a, give me a freaking bone here. Although I want a coin. Give me a freaking coin. But you can every single day be guaranteed to get a full set of American Wildflowers. The, the suit of cups cards. The suit of swords cards, the suit of wands cards, and the suit of pentacles cards. You also can get a full set of antique alcohol bottles, a full set of bird eggs, and a full set of family heirlooms. If you're ranked up high enough to sometimes need a metal detector and a shovel. Although, if you are a rank 1 collector right now, rank 1, just by the roll, you can make just over $2,000 a day this week by picking up all the statics. Now, when I say those statics, the ones I talked about there, the ones that are not randomized, uh, definitely take a look at the Jean Ropke map. We'll have it linked down in the description. That's what we use to be able to go through and find every single thing every single day. It does reset every single day for us at 5 p.m. So I want to make sure I start my cycle after 5 because you don't want to get halfway through collecting everything and then the cycle comes through and all the randomized stuff changes and you got to go back to places where you were already at. So you definitely want to go start this right when the cycle changes and then you can spend barely three hours i spent just barely three hours today and i got every single set that i have right now let's see what i got let's see sell this stuff right here what we got we have one antique alcohol bottle set one bird egg set one family heirloom set one american wildflower set one set of each of the cups pentacles swords and wands tarot cards that's eight sets in total you can get every single day now like i said the family heirlooms may be a little difficult if you're not ranked up high enough to have a shovel and a metal detector because sometimes things need to be dug up with that but they are static so you can get the set every single day this week all eight of these sets right now total sell for two thousand three hundred and ninety four dollars 
You can make $2,394 every single day by spending three hours grinding the map. Yes, it is a grind. If you need money, you want money, or you like to grind money, definitely this is the best way to do it. And this week, good bonus. So as you guys can see, we got $3,750 and some change. We're going to sell these real quick, see how much money we get. It's going to be quite a lot, I tell you, because like I said, you get uh, just over $2,300 by selling all these. Uh, it may take us a little bit, get some mad XP as well. Now, if you uh, are saving these for an outlaw pass, I mean, you got two months to get some more. So if you need some money, definitely an easy way to make some money right there. Look at that. We got over six grand now. That's insane. All right, so by doing that grind run we just did, we spent three hours traveling over the map. I usually start up in Annisburg area, work my way straight down into Saint Denis. After that, I usually move over through uh, Braithwaite Manor, go up through Emerald Ranch, and then start to start doing some of the top, top grizzly stuff. Go down through Valentine, and if I got to go up to Calter, I'll go up there, and then come down through Strawberry into Blackwater, and then shoot out here to New Austin area. Three hours, easy. Made $2,410, it looks like, after I uh, checked my stuff there. That's insane. Now, you could, of course, just spend a day collecting. And uh, while you're not doing the legendary missions from, from Harriet, you can go ahead and go do your collectibles there. And probably after a few hours, make quite a lot of money. So right now, I made $2,785 by grinding the collector for three hours and then doing... An hour of gameplay with Harriet. Just an hour of gameplay. I mean, it was a three hour of me actually playing, but it was only an hour of actually doing her missions. So that's four hours total, and I made $2,785. So definitely use these methods this week to make tons of money in Red Dead Online. The sun's going down. We're rich now. Well, we're not rich, but we're definitely got more money than we did last week when we spent $100,000. Definitely, if you guys need some money, Easy week to get it for sure. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash a like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing to the channel for more Red Online content, including tips and tricks, news updates, gameplay, just good old fashioned fun. Hope to see you on the prairie sometime, but until then, see you later.